Okay, well, I thought I'd experiment with putting some markings on this to actually see exactly how far you get to turn it before anything goes, because lots of people describe things. And um, this mark here is obviously going to move because it's attached to my throttle, and that's attached to my case. And these marks here actually represent um, this this last black one here is when basically it's it's at the end of its uh, the end of its travel. And this red one here is where it, once that black line goes past that, we start to get power. So the graduations for power delivery are only in that area. Now, a lot of people say it's got only like five steps, and I actually disagree with that. So let's have a look. So let's move it up to here, and we get it to there, and you can hear the motor start. So let me move it a bit further. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 or 23, 24, and no change in pitch there. So once we get past about here, there's no real change in pitch. and then the end of it is there. So let's now put it in eco mode and see what we get. So now it's in eco mode. So again we'll start it up at about there. One, two, three, four, maybe five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and again, no more change after that. But the eco mode delivers the power more softly. Now let's do something different, like disengage the speed limitation and we'll find that it's a little bit different again. So we go there before it starts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. No real changes after that. Now that was also still in eco mode, so let's put it back in power mode and see what we get there. Okay, so one, wow, actually let's start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and again, nothing up past that point. We've got 23 graduations. So, basically, I would say that this dead spot here some people might complain about it, but personally, I find it an advantage having the dead spot because the amount of times that I bump that, and I, I always run mine with kick to go disabled. So this gives me the, I can bump it and it doesn't jump away from me sort of stuff, which is kind of nice. I do agree though that it would be nice if we could stretch this range out a bit more. Myself though, I, I find that by putting my thumb against here or down at the key as I go further down. I can actually, you know, have a reference to that and I can hold it there for a little while and engage cruise control and it doesn't matter. 
Um, by the way, to disengage the cruise control, it actually has to register a change, so you've got to flick it to there before it'll disengage. So if we have cruise control engaged, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now cruise control is engaged. I've got to flick it up to that point there to get it to work again or to disengage. Personally, <clears throat> I'm now going to leave this little outside part here because I found that when I get my little black mark there to just around about here um, in unlimited mode, that's around about 25 kilometers an hour. I can get a little bit more out of it, but that just punishes the battery. But that gives me a nice visual representation. I might put some more clear marker on, on that um, so that I can see it more easily, or I might just not worry about it because the vast majority of the time, I run it in the mode where it's got kick to go disabled and I've got the power, the speed restrictions going in because generally speaking that is pretty much all I need like and if I do happen to be going with somebody on their electric skateboard like my friend down the road I can easily just dial in a speed wait for a few seconds while we're saying a few things and then pretty much I can let it go and be at the same speed as him so there you go anyway there's a quick exploration of the throttle don't know why more people don't do that themselves it's pretty easy and it's pretty logical.